All right. Thanks, guys, for joining. Um, I've sent out the agenda for the meeting today, and we're primarily focused on discussing the next steps with the tasks, but there's also plenty of organizational stuff and kind of a change of priorities, especially because we were just on a call with uh, Allen Institute for AI, and we realized that they're also struggling with integration of uh, the actual domain experts into the general workflow. So I think we're gonna try and focus on that too, with, especially with non-technical people on the team. So let's go ahead and start with the proposed agenda. The number one thing that I've included was discuss the task kickoff process. We now have four channels paired with four Trello boards for these tasks. And yesterday I took a step on how to approach this kickoff process. Uh, just to illustrate to whoever is going to be leading those tasks on how to like just start and start thinking about it in terms of all the pieces and uh, structural dependencies of things. I'm not sure if everyone had a chance to review that. Uh, you can also view it in two acts to kind of speed up and uh, save some time. But yeah, I would like to start the discussion between us and whoever has a um, <clears throat> more clear way to structure the, this process. You want to start first on that piece around um, uh, sort of forming those, getting those lead researchers and the, uh, the, ta the teams around the tasks? And sort of getting those ideas around that or around that piece around getting those subject matter experts in? I think that uh, just forming the teams is crucial for, for right now because we're seeing a lot of people that are super interested to pursue those tasks. But again, they're kind of lost in, because there is no structure. And at least setting up the, the board and Slack channel to have the um, maybe even like daily check-in or things like uh, you know, who's doing what for this task and, you know, being on the edge of kind of pushy and just trying to organize people around it. So I, I started to get a little pushy on the Trello boards today. I'm trying to clean up some of the, the excess stuff that's on there. Um, I'm also trying to coordinate uh, people from the other Slack channel into this one. And uh, several of my friends that have management experience have, have uh, joined recently in the past 24 hours. So I'm hoping that they're going to be motivated to, to help us with this. Um, but I also took on responsibility for the machine learning uh, uh, group essentially i'm trying to put together all the people that are interested in doing the actual machine learning work um, i've got a standardized data set and uh, i'm going to be coordinating movements for that and we'll probably have a trailer board for our own subgroup um, and i'll make sure to co to coordinate communication between our group and, and uh, the general trailer board which i think should be used in a more uh high level sense so i, I think this this trailer board up here is really nice but then we need to break it into subgroups and i i'm happy to do the machine learning and the NLP subgroup um, and help coordinate communication between that and the experts and whoever else, so. Sounds good. Uh, just to chime in here, like I really like what, uh, uh, so, so far what we have is, the, the great part is essentially more of an organizational like PM co component of all of the efforts we do not necessarily this research component that we're just kind of just laying the groundwork to emerge. So I think right now we don't even need to look for somebody who is like this research oriented. We just need to simply engage PM people. So they would kind of engage other, others to participate. And again, based on the structure that we're proposing and just like emerging building the skeleton. So I was initially like this proponent of all oh, we need some research background PIs for every task, etc. I'm kind of changing my opinion right now because like it's you don't need to be a researcher here. You just need to be like well organized person with experience of helping others to organize to kind of succeed here. Yeah, I agree. And a lot of it is maybe for the maximization of uh, our efforts today and getting some tangible results and progress, it will be great to 
uh, do a roll call uh, within this call. We have 34 people here and four tasks. And I think uh, I've seen a couple of people already volunteering to become this kind of manager of the task. I saw that Maya is going to lead the, the risk task. Um, is anyone aware of any other people that are leading the, the other three? Yeah, there's, uh, there's been some awesome work going on in the, the ties task. Uh, Mark sort of helped facilitate people getting together and he has, uh, we're waiting to hear back from her, but has nominated Christine Chen to maybe try to, to take on leadership there. And what about the, the two other? I think Geo is still sort of looking at things and trying to, to figure out their process. And uh, there's, uh, it's still early days for the BT team as well, I think. Is there anyone on this call who would like to kind of lead the Geo? Uh, task and, and channel. Hi. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. Um, well, I'm not sure whether I want to, uh, this is Jane and I go as Erasmus. I don't know whether I want to lead the Joe task, but um, I'm thinking that maybe we can structure, right now we don't have much data. So right now I would be interested in people just offer, well, I will try to contact different people and different types of data that we could collect for it. And I think as we get some numbers and some data and some ideas, just put them together, we can start with it. And then the leader will probably emerge. Yeah, it, again, it's not about the, the leader right now, but primarily people like you who can just you know, move things around. And so I, I, I will start moving things around and I will start proposing things and then we'll see where it goes. I, I'm, I'm very motivated about this. Process. Sounds good. Uh, is there anyone else that could lead the, the, the VT task, which is the vaccine one? This is, this is Tina. Um, I... I'm going to need to step away for a little bit. I have been full time on this for um, a few days in a row now. Um, and I think everybody, we've got a good foundation and we've got sub teams that are starting to, to form. Um, I do need to um, um, focus on some other things outside of this project for a little while. Um, I will step back in and um, at some point, if, if a leader is still needed, I can um, I can join a team at that point. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your effort. Like that really uh, brought a lot of uh, progress to, to what we were doing. You're welcome. Yeah, Tina, you've been a superstar. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so it sounds like we don't have a person for VT. And maybe I'm thinking the reason is because the task is framed around the vaccines, the subtasks are not really just about vaccines. So maybe it's worth for us uh, to kind of regroup internally, understand what, what the subtasks are and kind of reposition that task so more people could, uh, you know, see that and immediately, you know, uh, understand what it, what it is about. And, you know, a lot of it is about excitement and in terms of clicking, like, oh yeah, like this makes sense. I think I, I can help with that. It sounds like this task is missing that. So actually, I, I could chim in here. So I spoke with a few people who are connected with actually like vaccine development labs, etc. cetera. So um, we have people in the community who will be able to kind of create subtasks within that task, right? It just, again, it just in the name, I think like, you know, helping developing vaccine is kind of a, a solid task over here, right? It's, I'm pretty sure not, and like, it's hard to volunteer yourself, like, oh, I'll be a leader for vaccine type of thing. It's just like a too much kind of responsibility over <laughs> yeah, there exactly. just in the name. Yeah. So hopefully we will get like a list of potential subtasks. I, I have a specific person in mind and after that, maybe later we'll be able like to fill up that role. But so far, again, I think it will be enough if somebody just with really good solid PM experience just again 
setting up all of the moving pieces in terms of the organization will be enough here. Yeah, if someone can take that Loom video that I recorded about the general thought process and apply the same kind of framework to this uh, VT task, uh, again, just taking 30 minutes of your time, mm -hmm. thinking out loud and forming a, a Google Doc, I think that could be the, the best step. Uh, doesn't require any machine learning experience, just like basic uh, understanding of, of pieces and how they connect. Yeah, and definitely if someone is, is thinking about it but is a little nervous, know that you've got a lot of support um, in terms of figuring out what it is that you need to do. Just somebody who's willing to kind of dive in and start, start playing with the, the, the mess that's in there is fantastic. All right, sounds good. Sounds like we're, we're, we're gonna make some progress on the tasks uh, and some structure for it today, I hope. Um, the other uh, piece to discuss is, uh, hold on. Okay, so we critically need domain experts to help with tasks. Uh, ben Jones is finishing up email enrichment and need other pieces. Uh, so I think he has some, uh, some lists already. He is going to wrap up uh, the results and share them soon. Uh, what we're still missing is kind of um, the, just the list of who we're going to uh, reach out, which is the, the emails and authors. I assume he's, he's going to produce the CSV file with the names, specialty, and emails. But then we need the template for like what, how we want them to, to be integrated into uh, Slack or any other processes. So uh, maybe... working on it as we speak. Amazing. Amazing. Thanks, Maya. Perfect. And the Thank other you. point is we need PMs communicators to finalize, finalize the list and responsibilities for uh, non-technical talent. We're kind of experiencing, um, you know, an overload in communications and uh, just preparing the basic things like flyers and um, the messaging and all things attached. Even on our call with AI2, the Allen Institute, the organizer of Kaggle, it's still not clear to them like what is Corona Y like and, and what is happening here. So it would be helpful for us to identify kind of the, the roles and potential people. Maybe if you have some people in your network that are excellent communicators, marketers, uh, even like salespeople, uh, because what we're really doing, we're selling the, the vision and opportunity of us as an organization. Uh, even if they can dedicate 30 minutes of their time or an hour uh, a day, that would be a huge help. And I'm, I'm beginning to put together a document in terms of getting in those, those subject matter experts in, um, around how we might be able to coordinate and organize some of that so that we can, we can best interface between our, our internal um, joyful chaos that we're working with right now and then those, those teams and then the external people who we want to shield them as much as possible, except for those, those little bits of interface they need to have. Sounds good. And I think it's also important for us to organize task-specific team calls throughout the day, assuming that we get some meaningful number of members for each task. So what I mean by that, uh, it's great that we're having this general daily sync call, but to further engage people within specific uh, channels of like task risks, task geo, uh, if we can have a short 15 minute uh, kind of stand up, uh, if you will, and just uh, going through our thought process about the task, uh, that would be great. And I, I'm not sure if we as admins should be facilitating those. Maybe we should just to be a little bit more pushy. But ideally, that uh, you know, PM of of the panel um, would would bring that up. So let's see what happens if if uh, people start self organizing. We'll just follow their lead. If not, um, we can we can jump in as an admin team and just create these uh, you know white spaces for, for people to jump into. If anyone has any ideas on how to, uh, you know, make that more efficiently, 
or any ideas about the check-in process in general, um, just let us know. Feel free to jump into program management Slack channel, which is where um, people who are helping manage processes are hanging out and kind of voicing out their ideas about, about how to structure it. Anything Just else? A, house, a minor housekeeping thing. On the bottom, there's a chat button you can press. So it'll pop up a chat. So if you're not speaking, you have a comment on something, you can put a comment on the side and then the speaker can address it or pull you into it as need be. It's helpful this, this large of a size of a call. Yep. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, so yeah, just send us a question if you have one. Uh, we still have uh, some time to, to answer those. I'll just also, oh, go ahead, sorry. If, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, there are a couple of cool things that I want to, to share as to wrap up the call, but yeah, go ahead and. Yeah, I was just gonna say, cause I know we've got uh, a lot of people, so whether you're on the call or whether you're one of the people who is um, watching this afterwards, who's on the Slack, or if you're watching this on the website and you're interested in participating but are not sure how to do so, uh, just to know that we definitely kind of need you in here um, and that on the onboarding channel within Slack uh, or you can reach out to any of the folks who are in admin if you're not sure how to be best participating or what it is that you could be doing. Um, we're happy to help guide you and help you figure out where you can best plug in uh, so that we can we can get things moving. That's all. Sounds good. So a couple of cool things that we've achieved so far, we've established a shared channel with uh, Allen Institute for uh, AI, which is the organizer, uh, organizer of Kaggle competition. Uh, so you can jump into uh, B underscore Corona Y Allen Institute, and this has direct communication to their teams. Uh, this is a shared Slack channel between our Slack and theirs. Uh, we've had a call with them today, and it sounds like they're, their core focus is primarily NLP research, and they have a very strong uh, group that is working on uh, kind of the, the foundation for, for the NLP tasks, uh, embeddings, uh, certain enrichment of the existing data set. We're trying to set up kind of the workshop between uh, them and us for, for them to showcase what exactly they're working on. Maybe there are some things that we could help them uh, do more efficiently, or maybe there are some things that they could help us um, in terms of the, um, you know, structural NLP uh, pieces that go into each of those four tasks that we're working on. Because as I've been describing it in my kickoff overview video, um, you know, it starts with the NLP problem because the data set that we have is taxed essentially, but in reality, the bigger impact items like building the actual predictive models about risk factors is, is something that will not necessarily require NLP talent, but will rely on the foundation of data extracted by the NLP team. So we'll, f we'll figure out how to efficiently integrate AI2 into um, our process and see how we can help. Um, and we're also trying to get uh, some nonprofit affiliation with them to structure a more efficient process of getting uh, computa computational resources and other benefits from vendor vendors and partners. Because so far it seems like these big companies are flooded with the requests um, and are, they're just overloaded and are not prepared to deal with uh, such you know, ultra speed uh, environment. And we're definitely operating on that ultra speed. That's why it's, Sometimes it's going to be frustrating to see other organizations not uh, responding in a such timely manner, uh, but it's happening. Like today, just a few minutes ago, I got the um, upgrade from Trello. So our organization is now um, the upgraded premium uh, organization, which is opening up some other cool features and plugins that we can use. So, um, Go ahead and ask some uh, questions in that Allen Institute Slack channel if you have some to organizers. Uh, the other cool thing is that we've uh, added a similarity metric to the that public Power BI visualization between basic um, 
uh, between tasks and uh, papers. So you can just explore and, and see uh, the, how similar papers, papers are in general to the tasks. And I think the, the last thing to include on here is that we've created that flyer, which is call to action document. And feel free to share it across any channels that you think are appropriate, whether it's emails, LinkedIn, posting it on Facebook, uh, whatever you think is, is going to help us. It is really designed for us to, um, to spread our message and showcase how and whom we need to, to integrate for a more efficient uh, process and more impact to the world. I'm good. I'm, I'm, sounds like I'm losing my voice. So I'll, I'll let Daniel proceed. Um, sure. Well, I, I think all of that's great. One, one thing that came up in the, uh, the conversation with AI too, that would also be useful, I'll mention this in Slack as well, um, is they recognize that the COVID-19 data is a little bit messy and they would love it if we're able to help identify the ways in which it can be improved. Um, so uh, I'll start a, a new little channel maybe for us where we can, can look at that around COVID-19 data. Um, and anyone is welcome to jump on there with their ideas for improvements. We'll then turn that into a doc that we can, can send back over to them. Um, um, yeah. This is Tina. I think there's already an ML uh, Slack channel um, where I think they're focusing on that. Perfect, Tina. Thanks. I'll just make an announcement in the ML channel then. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Um, this is Svetlana. May I ask one question in regards to that? Um, so I think uh, basically uh, a lot of people are working on in different directions right now and there's a lot of data sets that are like starting to be created. Like I, I just read something about someone making vectors with whatever bird and so on. And yeah, um, the thing is, um, it would be really nice if we had some way to share all of this data with each other. That's something that we've been talking about a little bit, like setting up some kind of uh, data version tracking like uh, in DVC. But the problem is that uh, we kind of need like a data storage backend for this, for example, uh, like Google buckets or S3 buckets or something like that. And I think um, it's warranted because we really have like, we're, we're gonna have like a lot of gigs of data and I don't think a solution like that LFS is gonna scale for that, but I'm not quite sure how to acquire such a storage. Sounds so good. I working on that request right now and um, I've already submitted a request and received um, some questions in response to that request uh, for free uh, computing resources so um, I posted that as well on the I think it's on the ML slack channel um, so I just need some assistance in answering those questions then we could proceed with the request yeah. I can't be use uh, Kaggle data sets or I Could you say that again, Akash? Yeah, I'm asking if we can use Kaggle data sets. It's freely available and it allows around 20 GB of data to be stored. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Thanks, yeah. Store data there, or I think these are data sets that we're creating. So I don't know, can you store it in Kaggle or you just can download it? Yeah, you can do that. You just require a user account and you can store up to, just you need to make it public. Okay. I think that's and how 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 uh, much data can we store? Uh, as, a, as I said, it's around 20 GB. And, uh, but if you make it public, there is no limit to the size of the data. Set. Okay. That Thank sounds you. like and, uh, a good solution. Yeah, yeah. And there is a versioning options also. Okay? So if you okay. version, uh, the, you, you have the old version, the new version, so you can go back and in the history. That ah, sounds great. like a good solution uh, for intermediate purposes. Uh, once we get the uh, AWS uh, or Google uh, credit, we're going to set up an S3 uh, environment and we're going to use that for sure. So uh, and if anybody... I, I'm just uh, sending out the link on the chat. So I thought most of us were aware of, the, of this uh, feature, but if you're not aware, you can have a look at the data sets and anyone can upload the and that's a good idea. So why don't we look into that and, and then post it also in the data sets uh, Slack channel so uh, we can set up a solution for this. I agree, we've got data sets now flying all over the place and I myself have posted some CSV files to Slack. So it's not a very robust process. 
but I definitely think we need to address this sooner rather than later. Yeah, and, and so and Team's idea of doing a request out, which we've, we've started to do that process, but anyone who has places that they know we should be requesting from, throw those on the, to the, the, the spreadsheet around organizations to liaise with. And if you have a connection there or you've already started a process, list it there as well so that we're not having redundancy of a whole bunch of us making requests and we can make sure that those requests can be made as, as efficiently and, and with the, sort of the best effort as, as possible. Akash, would you be willing to quickly outline what you just said about Kaggle within the channel as well, so that the folks not on this call can, can see what you're talking about? Uh, sure, Daniel, I'll do that. Uh, I can, if I have a list of all the data sets, I could uh, migrate it to Kaggle, Kaggle data sets and uh, make it available to everyone. Uh, we, we have a spreadsheet of some of those data sets, so we'll, we'll, we can talk off channel about that. Cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, just drop me a message, post this, and we'll uh, touch base. So I'm noticing we're at that 9.30 mark. Um, Arthur, I don't know if you have anything else you'd like to, to kind of say to, to finish us off and then we can continue any urgent points within uh, Slack as well. Yep, so the last thing that I want to mention is uh, we could use some help uh, with um, bringing the, the notebook, the, the global team notebook up to the top. Um, it seems like it went into the third page again. Uh, if you can upload the notebook and leave a comment, uh, that would help a lot. Other than that, thank you everyone for ju jumping in. Uh, we'll figure out uh, the progress for the uh, specific uh, tasks today. And yeah, let's, let's uh, just jump in into those specific channels and continue the conversation. Yeah, uh, I would like to add something. Yeah, hi, this is the Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm not able to access the Trello board for each task. So if uh, whoever that made it uh, could make it just public or accessible, so that would be like easier for us to track. Yeah, we're, or... Absolutely, we're just getting, we're, we're, I think we're just getting, trying to get things uh, ready so that, that each team is organized so that you have a sense of how your team's gonna be using the Trello board uh, so that we don't just have everybody kind of piling on and, uh, and creating chaos. But, but it's a fantastic point. We'll be making those available really soon. Uh, Sounds good. Right. Uh, so uh, I also like to add that, uh, like if I wanted to uh, join the task geography, uh, so will there be any like uh, pre requirements for that or kind of stuff? Just your motivation and willingness to, to, to help. That's it. All right. Thanks, Arthur. Thanks, Daniel. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.